Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are kicking off yet another Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Demon Hunters hyphen Duty Eternal campaign. That's right, we're doing a, the new DLC, which is really fun. Um, so uh, probably um, there'll be a flashback uh, or, or flash forward. This will be the flashback, actually. Either way, it takes a while for the new content to kick in, uh, and I want you guys to get a taste of that early, so uh, you are probably seeing that now. Initial all specs readings indicate enemy activity below. Recommend an expeditious advance towards the source of the signal. Surely our fellow brothers are engaged with this menace. Exciting stuff. So we're finally, uh, I say finally, this is episode one. Sorry, I've done this out of order. I wanted to uh, flash back or flash forward. Either way, um, I'm very deep into the campaign right now. And we finally come across the um, the DLC content, which I hope you guys will enjoy. I've played this mission once before, and it is really cool. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. So, uh, oh, by the way, we have literally the four guys that we start with. We have Aldric Iolanthus, Daring Thule, Voldred Storm, and Aegir Han, all leveled uh, a fair bit. They're all level four now, I think. So they're all in pretty good shape. Uh, so we are going to advance. Okay, there's a pod up here. Unleash me. As expected. Uh, uh, yeah, we can go here. I don't think we'll spot the guys around the corner from there. At your service. And you can, yeah, really just throw yourself in here. As soon as we get line of sight around the corner, he can teleport over. He has teleport. He has teleport strike. He'll be in a pretty good spot to uh, to do some work. Uh, and then finally, we have Han, our apothecary. Uh, we want to get him in a bit closer, too. Let's just get him... Maybe here? And we'll push uh, Iolanthus around the corner. To try and get line of sight. Which he may get, may not. You gonna spot him? There we go. Ooh, okay. Okay, all Plague Marines. This is the first time I've seen an entire pod of Plague Marines uh, so far this campaign. So that's quite intimidating, uh, which is fun. I like it. I like being intimidated in this game. Let's get... Uh, yeah, we should be able to hit this guy pretty well. You should get a good hit on him. A little worried about this guy flanking if I go here. A little worried about that. I can go lower, actually. It'll still possibly be a flank, but I think this will block line of sight. So I'm going to move here. As you will. Alright, let's get a shot into this guy. I can Psychic Onslaught for extra damage. It might destroy this guy's cover, letting me hit him a bit more easily. For the Emperor. Nope. All that survived. Uh, so one thing we do have is we have the extractor skull so we can get the seed out of this guy's body nice and easily as a free action. Lovely. Really nice that we don't have to leave them behind. Like, we can just get them easily now. This is coming with me. <laughs> yeah, it is. Alright, what's the plan here? Storm. So, Storm, we do have, you know, all the good teleport stuff, which is very nice. Um, oh, hang on. You're in range, why can't you hit him too? I guess because he doesn't have line of sight on that guy? Oh, no. He can attack him from... No. That was a teleport strike. I'd backtack completely. You just run up to him and stab him. Uh, which isn't quite what I had in mind. Yeah, with this guy there, he could easily flank. Although, not if I teleport back here. And then shoot them both. I'll use a lot of willpower. I have two AP. Uh, if I warp charge, I'll use a lot, a lot of willpower. This guy could still flank us, though is a little concerning, but it would be nice to clear some of these guys out early. Uh, let's see. We also do have Ulrich Iolanthus. He can smash people with a hammer. He's rather good at that. And we do have Han, who can move up and start shooting things. I mean, any damage we get on them is, is good. It'll all add up. Yeah, I'm very worried about them flanking on this side as well, if I stand here. 
But we do have Terminator armor, so it will help us out a fair bit. Oh, also, I want to check, actually. Are these guys all bolt gun? Oh, no, he's got the Plague Belcher. He's got the Plague Belcher, about to put down poison. He's quite far away, though, so I'm not sure he'll be able to hit us with any of that from where he is. That's all right. Okay, let's shoot him. Not going to bother using the side bolt. We'll just whittle him down. Just whittle him down a bit. Uh, if I move here, I could just start shooting them from here as well. I mean, they'll do the same to me, though. Alright, there's a chance I can get a crit. 40% chance. Which would kill him, but then I can get behind cover. Your command. Which doesn't sound like a terrible I idea. Me. I am here to serve. Although, could get that teleport strike. Still won't quite kill him. Yeah, okay, maybe I do need to run in and start hitting people. Um, I need to at least kill one, right? Okay, what I might do is I could use Honor the Chapter to give more AP yes, to Voldred Storm. So when he gets behind here, uh, he'll have four AP that he can use to just kill all these guys. You know, he better shoot each of these guys once, attack him a couple times. It'll give him quite a lot to do. We're going to warp charge to get this guy low enough health. I mean, I can also get Ulfric Iolanthus in there to blat someone and then leave. So, I think I'll just do that. Shame we couldn't get the other guy in the... You know, in the warp. You know, in the teleport strike. I don't know why that was a problem. Um, Standing ready. So, let's see. God, we have to shoot him three times. Oh, also, if Iolanthus does run up here to blat him, we won't have enough AP to use out of the chapter and retreat. What is your will? So that doesn't actually work particularly well. But we can just have, you know, just do that and then retreat. Oh, and he did get his AP back. He did, he did get the AP back. Because he does do that when he teleports sometimes. So let's just kill him. Alright, that's one dead. That gives us a willpower back. And then I can shoot this guy twice. So yeah, I think I will use another chapter so he can retreat, but it means I can kill a couple of these. So let's see, I can shoot him twice more with the AP he's got. Then I can reload and shoot him a third time. Which would kill him. So yeah, this works. Because yeah, another chapter will give him two AP. I know, this is like, really... Oh wait, he can shoot or retreat. No, he has to reload and, ret and, and shoot. So he will just be stood there, unfortunately. Yeah, he's the only one with any moves left. I mean, I could just hit him and then retreat him. Um, oh, maybe we've got Disruptor Servo Skull. I could use a couple of those, right? Oh, he's the only one with one, though. Uh, unless he's under the chapter on... No, this guy. Then they could both use Disruptor Skull on him. But then he's just sort of left there on his own anyway. Alright, you know what? Honor the chapter. On him. Either way, we're going to be using Honor the chapter. Okay, good. He's totally, like, stood out right now, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. So, let's reload. And then I'm going to shoot this guy. Okay, we'll leave him slightly vulnerable. It'll be fine. Justice. Okay. That ought to do it. So let's get him back here as well. Now let's see what these guys do. Plague Belch is going to be a bit of a problem, I think. Nope. Yes. Yes, he is. That's very annoying. And yeah, he's going to flank. Oh, crap. Is that a Plague Belcher as well? Alright, everyone's got the bloody plague now. Or do they? What? Our interceptor didn't seem to even get hit by that. Getting hit by that, though. That's okay. Yeah, exactly. No, we're fine. 
Okay. Well, he's got the plague, so you know, let's not worry about that. Your orders. Uh, kill all of them. Okay, you can't reach. Also, you have um, one ammo. That's not very much. Onward, Let's get over here. You can shoot him once, and we might get lucky and roll Feel on the fifty percent for him to automatically reload. Because he can automatically reload. Unfortunately, didn't work. So we aren't going to be able to shoot again. That is a pity. That's a genuine pity. Uh, so I could guarantee a crit on him with a couple of willpower. But we've got pretty good crit chances anyway. So I might just try and get a couple of crits on him. Um, so I'm going to move there. And we can attack him twice. And we will be in cover. Okay, good. Also, it just dawned on me that there's a chance that plague stacks. No, it doesn't. We're fine. All right, come on, get the crit. We didn't get the crit. That's that's also disappointing. Uh, well, we can retreat with this guy now. He'll probably try and flank again, though, wouldn't he? All right, we can just run back through the poison. Yeah, maybe not, mate. Maybe not. All right, that'll do. Taking position. Just casually jump through a, a plate glass window. That's normal. Don't worry. Yeah. He does that all the time. Okay, let's shoot this guy. He's definitely dead. I think we can say that for certain. He definitely died. Marvellous. So, uh, he's going to be taking damage over time, of course. Uh, it just means every couple of turns we'll use battlefield medicine on him from our positive carry. He should be fine. Uh, it'll cost a bit of willpower, but we got plenty of willpower on him. So it'll be okay. It'll all work out. So we're going to try and get a flank on this guy. We're going to spread out a couple of different directions. Oh my god, you're doing it again? He's getting very plagued. I think we need to heal him this turn. Islanthus may end up with an injury after this. Yeah, he's almost certainly going to end up with an injury after this. We didn't bring a Medicaid servo skill, because, you know, <laughs> we're, we're ballers. Okay, Storm, you're going to have to... Oh my god, can you seriously not get... Teleport back here, we'll shoot him twice. It's not much, is it? It's not great. Uh, Alright, if we're there, we can shoot him for four damage, so we can do... You know, do eight damage to him. But with all that armor, I mean, I'd rather... I'd rather teleport, like, here and just start stabbing him. Uh, but we need to see how we're going to deal with this guy. Standing ready. Okay, so one thing I can do, Psychic Onslaught will hit everybody. That is a really nice opening gambit. Okay, that shreds all their armor. I mean, it will come back, of course, but it's a start. Okay, so that'll do. Then we're going to teleport to here, uh, so we can attack him twice. Gliding through the Hopefully, we'll get a decent crit out of it. And we did get our AP back, so we can attack him three times. Uh, so, 35% chance to crit. Please take pity on me. Brilliant. Uh, armor pierce would have been lovely. We can disable his ranged weapon at least. So that's not bad. And then I can attack him one more time, or I can attack that guy instead. Uh, I won't actually, because I can't really. Okay, we're going to do that. We can attack him twice. Okay, we've got him. Oh, we've very got him. Uh, yep. Bludgeon his arms off. As you do. God, brutal. Alright, so they're both dead. Well played, boys. Yep. Now we can get over here. To our objective. Advancing. Okay, let's get up there, boys. I'm not going to move him up completely, because I'm hoping that the Apothecary can get in range of him uh, before he runs off. Oh my god, really? He's just out of range? Fine. I'll heal him in a second, then. It's not like he's going to take even more damage. Oh, wait! <laughs> I'm sure he'll be alright. 
Okay. Uh, oh, actually, I could use another chapter. It'll cost a couple of willpower, but it might save him an injury, so I think it's worth one up. It's a shame to have to do it, honestly. It was a miscalculation on my part. I thought I was being careful enough. I wasn't, though. I wasn't. I'm a master. Okay, we'll sew him shut. My wrath is restored, and you guys can start moving up again. Yeah. Oh, plague. Silly plague. I think he's over it now, though, right? Okay. Uh, nope, he's still, still got the plague. For uh, two more turns, I think. Yeah, that's how many turns it is, isn't it? Unleash me. Just making sure I had that in the right way around. If that was the damage he was taking each turn, or is that how many turns he had left? What is your will? Affirmative. It's okay, we won't have to rely on uh, on Ulrich in a second, because we'll have a new friend. Alright, Ulrich, do the honours. Hello, friend. Venerable Brother Krask is all that remains of this squad. No other Astartes life signs are detected in the area. Rally behind Brother Krask and eliminate the heretics. Oh, we have found them. Incredible. I love it. Uh, this is awesome. Yeah, this is going to be fantastic. Uh, he's disabled our melee. That's very annoying. We just got given a new toy and we can only use half of our new toy. But yeah, here we go, guys. I just, um, I went past him. So here's, uh, oh, Krasksthul. Is he a friend of yours? Is he a, well, a relative of yours, Dalek? So we have Ancient's Charge. So we can literally just charge through a whole, a whole stack of folks. Uh, we've got the Plasma Cannon here, which we can overcharge for considerable damage, uh, or we can use smoke grenade to guard our own guys, uh, or we also have a heavy flamer, so we can just set fire to everybody, so it's all pretty good. Flamer costs willpower, uh, plasma cannon just costs ammunition, though willpower to overcharge it, uh, the smoke grenade costs a bit of willpower, ancient charge costs a bit of willpower. Doomfist doesn't cost anything, you can just black people with that. It's five damage, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it's plus three stun and knockback, and it ignores cover, so it's all really nice. Um, it's pretty damn good. Oh, an Ancient Charge has superior knockback, which means that anything that is immune to knockback still gets knocked back, because they're not immune to superior knockback. So, um, enemy, uh, 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 like Terminator armor and things, you know, obliterators and stuff. Yeah, just push him into a ravine. Fantastic. So, a lot of fun. But I think what we're going to do as our opening gambit is this. Because, I mean, come on. Come on. It can use all our ammo. And there is a chance that um, the gun uh, overheats and jams and things. Like, So you can't always reload it, uh, the plasma gun. But it seems to refresh after a encounter. Um, which is interesting. So, anyway. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, no ammo now. But that's okay. He's still got Ancient Charge. My god. Uh, yeah, let's do it on these two. Then I'll melee another one, I suppose. And then these guys might want to do something. I don't know. Actually, do I want to use up... I do. Yeah, I do, actually. I do want to use all my willpower. Yeah, don't, don't care about my willpower. I want to have fun. We got plagued, though, because they exploded on him, which is kind of annoying, actually. Uh, and then we get hit with a heavy flamer as well. That's just all the things. I mean, it's wild, though, isn't it? Do I see a health bar over here? Oh, there's also a guy over there. <laughs> oh, bless him. Uh, okay, let's move over here. Alright, I'll add this. Just, just, just... Go on, just give him a give him a little a little tickle. Finish him off. So Alright, good lad. We are the you are. That's what they always say. Uh, so, I mean, I could just set up a pretty simple overwatch, right? Or I could just let him attack the Dreadnought. Look how much armor it's got. That's how much damage it can take uh, each turn. 
without taking any actual damage. Although, the also, uh, the thing with that, though, he can't take cover. Because, duh. Like, obviously. Obviously he can't. So, yeah, but anyway. Isn't he great? Oh, he's a good boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good boy, sir. Yes. Okay. You can also move out. Everybody's overwatching. Absolutely no point. Oh, you might actually kill him before he attacks the Dreadnought. I mean, fair enough. And we are going to have to heal Iolanthus again in a minute. See? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you lead the way. Lead the way, big boy. Oh my god. So he's got two willpower left, so most of his stuff is, you know, spent. And, uh, yeah, overheated, plasma cannons overheated, cannot be used. That will sort itself out eventually, don't worry. And yeah, plague does actually hurt him, which is upsetting. Um, yeah, I guess we could just use Doomfist a bunch, huh? Sounds good. So we have 12 more turns to finish the mission, which is fine. We have to destroy the Bloom Stem, so we have a target to destroy, which is actually fine because we have Gaze of Infinity and Quicksilver, so as long as we can find it, um, I think we can teleport a Venerable Dreadnought right on top of it, which is, you know, pretty cool. Pretty groovy, I'd say. Let's move you up. Okay, we found the other boys. I am here to serve. Okay, let's move you up. Oh, also, you gotta be really careful with the dreadnought, um, as I will demonstrate. Um, so here, it's all like, oh yeah, we're behind cover, and that's great. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Islanders, my bad. <laughs> Butterfingers. So, you know, you've got to be careful. Um, he's a big boy. He's, he's, a, he's a big old boy. He's a big old, big old boy. Also, I think he does get abilities he can use as cover and things, though we don't currently have that. Um, but yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a handsome lad. He's a handsome lad. You know what? I think we might need to, need to use Battlefield Medicine on this guy again. Gotta, gotta keep his health up. Don't want him to pick up an injury, you know? That'd be rubbish. And I don't want to smash that cover. It's gonna be very difficult to sort of bob and weave between cover. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, unfortunately. Hi, guys. It's us, the lapdogs. Okay. God, I love I love the flames coming out of that. It makes me actually want to repaint uh, my venerable dreadnoughts because I have a couple of venerable dreadnoughts on the shelf, um, but I, I just sort of paint the inside of these holes black. But actually, I think it's way nicer that it's like these are really like spitting. I don't know what's it called, Prometheum, isn't it? The fuel. But yeah, that's really cool. I really like the the colors in there. So, we have, uh, we don't have a plasma cannon back yet. Come on, man, how long are you going to be overheated? Ridiculous. Luckily, though, we do have Ancient's Charge, so I think what I might do is move up a little bit and then move up a, a lot <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> How's that sound? Good? Yeah, it does. So, yeah, hi, gang. Hi. Who should we go for? I mean, that seems like a fairly good spread. Uh, that might be better, though. I think that would destroy, like, all of all of their cover. I mean, that would kill him, but I don't think we really need to kill him, necessarily. Alright, let's see how this goes. There's a lot of very unhappy cultists, i got to say. Yeah, they didn't seem too happy about any of that. Uh, so that has knocked back. Eh, I could just hit him. Yeah, we got one more AP. I think, uh, hit, hit that guy. There is also four strike. I don't know what four strike would do. It won't show me. Oh, it actually does say it's plus six stun. He goes up to, which is insane. I love it. But no, we're just going to hit him, I think. Or will I? You know what? I'm going to bring up some of our other boys. Uh, we could use Honor the Chapter on him so he can attack even more. But I think I want to save his willpower. Oh, and Thul is low on willpower. 
Oh, that sucks. Yeah, we need to get his willpower up so we can use a, um, a thingamajig. You know the one. Oh, that's disappointing. If I want two AP left on him so I can get a willpower and then do a follow-up attack, um, I can't be in range. I can't be in range. I have to get in range and with only one willpower. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not crying. You're crying. Alright, there he goes. Nice. Mercy in death. Okay, let's uh let's cool cool those debts. Buddy. Um So we have a lot of willpower here. Which I'm gonna use to teleport strike all these guys, I think. Yeah. Possibly? I'm, I'm starting to think now actually I do want to use another chapter on uh, on this guy instead, so he can he can start them off and then we can finish them off with everyone else. What is your will? I feel like it might be worthwhile. Uh, oh, what I could have done, actually, is use Warp Speed Biomancy on that guy. I would have given him plus two movement. Oh, that would have been a real... That would have been like an IQ million move. Alright, fine. Be that way. Uh, we're going to move up here. And we're going to get some shots in, I guess. Let's see... Okay, how much damage are we doing? Two damage because of the range. That guy, two damage because of the range and cover. Um, yeah, I do want to get him in. He is going to get very shot, though. So screw it. Let's just move everyone up a little bit. Alright, I'm going to use onto the chapter on him. Okay, so I can actually get in the... Oh, whoops. Standing ready. Went too far again. Okay. We need Psychic Onslaught so we can clear out some of these boys. Alright. Because there's too many. Too many enemies. Uh, didn't get the reload, sadly. I've got Disruptor Servo Skull so I can kill him. Because that's too just free damage, essentially. And it also cancels Overwatch and the rest of it. So there he goes. And I can use another Disruptor Servo Skull on this guy if I want. Yes, and that would let Iolanthus finish him off, I think, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, we are in range. Uh, tell you what, I will use Thul. Mm. Will I use Thul to do that? It would be quite nice I to be able to get some crits with him. So yeah, tell you what, I'll get the that in first, and I'll get the willpower to Iolanthus instead. Okay, good. Uh... Yeah, you need to reload now. Okay, then Iolanthus, you can get the kill. Oh, did that not get the kill? You know, I could have sworn that, would have, that was going to be enough damage. He has one health left. One! One health. I don't know if you guys know this, but that's, that's not that much health. It's very little. Uh, Alright, you know what? You can just get behind here, I guess. Yes. And what we're going to have to do is just have him finish him off, I think. Oh, hang on. Why can't you attack him with that? Oh my god, because that's the range. This huge circle is the range of the Doomfist. It's not a melee attack. It's just an attack. Oh, that's crazy. And I kind of love it. But never mind, we'll just hit him. Bye. Um, yeah, these guys all shoot the the Dreadnought. Not a problem. He will be fine. He'll be absolutely fine. So, let's... Uh, yeah, there's no chance in hell you're going to reach him, is there? No. So, there's a chance I could teleport. Right. I could teleport, and I have a 50% chance that I'll get my AP back, but I'm not willing to risk that. I was going to move him here. We'll see what they do. They're most likely just going to shoot at the Dreadnought. Which is fine. He has a lot of health. Oh, he's got the Plague Belcher. Whoa! I did not realise that those weapons could actually blow up those canisters. I had no idea. The AI are generally useless at blowing those things up. 
But yeah, I've, I've never seen a pipe belch do that. At least not that I recall. My bad. We're all learning, guys. We're all learning something. And yeah, see? Oh no, we've run out of armor. What are we gonna do? Yeah, we're totally fine. Because now we have it back. So yeah, no problem. Uh, this was a problem, though. This is pretty brutal, because they're all plagued as well. We're definitely going to pick up some injuries here. So, battlefield medicine. Let's just use that on him now. Good. And uh, we have no willpower left, so we do actually need to get him in here and shoot someone. Uh... Oh, I've got the plasma cannon. Alright, we're going to hit this, because it'll blow that up too. Nice. Glory to Zyphos. Uh, and then we can do it again over here. Uh, I think these barrels will probably kill him, right? If not, it is going to knock him back. Oh! Oh, okay, that's surprising. Alright, I guess I'm hitting him again. That feels like a bit of a waste. But, I do want to get my AP back. Not AP. Willpower. WP. Alright, bye. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't worry, mate. It's all good. Uh, right. I got a lot of Um, so what I think I might do is disarm him. <laughs> Actually, I don't want to use the... So that's where we need to get to, you see. So we do ideally need to kill this guy. So we can teleport the moment we see this. If there are additional pods over there, we might activate the pods. Which would be bad, actually. That would be a bad thing. Unleash me. Let's see. If we move... Here, we can do four damage. Aye, sir. Yeah, I think we just need to move everyone sort of close enough to do some damage to him. For Titan. We'll whittle him down in no time. In fact, he's... Uh, he's about ready to get stunned. I am here to serve. Which would be a nice opening gambit, actually. Affirmative. Uh, okay, we can attack from here. So, let's attack. Okay, now he's down. Now let's see if this works. It will be done. Okay, so we just uncovered a bunch more people. This is probably a terrible idea. Because we have definitely used more AP than we are gaining from doing that. So yeah, the fact we unlocked that pod is very, very bad news. And how on earth did we have line of sight of that and yet it is still so far away from where we were? That's obscene. Alright, so... Your orders. Oh, well, he's got four willpower, which is pretty amazing. But everyone else will have none. As soon as we as soon as we teleport in, we'll have none. So okay, what we're gonna do. Right. <laughs> this is bold. This is definitely bold. We're gonna do this. Alright, then we can use the gate of infinity to land everybody up here. Hopefully the dreadnought too, we'll see. Oh, what? The Dreadnought doesn't count. Oh, but, but it's a venerable Dreadnought. He's a Psyker. Oh, no. Psykers can't gauge of infinity. Uh, Dreadnoughts can't gauge of infinity. He should be able to. They can on tabletop. Oh, that's so disappointing. I'm so disappointed. I thought it'd be so funny to land a venerable Dreadnought on top of him. Oh, that's so sad. Although, this is a pre-release copy, so maybe... Maybe they're thinking about changing it? Or it could just be that there's no way it can calculate where the hell to put, you know, to put one. I don't know. Um, so disruptor servo skulls, for starters, because it's free damage. And we need all the free damage we can get. Yeah, just keep going. More damage, please. Thanks. Please and thank you. A little bit sad that the Dreadnought couldn't be here to, uh, to help with this. Uh, so on to the chapter. Uh, will help maximize our uh, uh, AP. So let's give that to Storm. 
Okay, good. And now, let's give additional AP. Actually, who's got the most willpower? It's Storm. Storm has the most willpower, which means he can use um, Force Strike or whatever the heck it's called. His, his psychic doodad. So we'll give it to him. Okay, good. So I think with all the stratagems and everything, we have probably defeated the tree. I know, weird thing to say. But hey guys, we have defeated the tree. <laughs> Alright, come on. I am very happy with how many Plague Marines we just sort of, you know, circumvented by doing this thing. Oh, can't force strike that time. But you might get a crit, there's a chance. Okay, the numbers the on his damage have gone a bit wounded. wibbly, but that's okay. Uh, oh, we wanted Han to get a kill, didn't we? He's got no AP. This is... Okay, we have two AP left. I guess he's doing it. We understand, venerable brother, as we have our own mission as well. We will ensure our brothers receive the proper rights. The Emperor protects. And you as well. Emperor. Dominus, who is this interloper? Code scrapings indicate an inquisitorial transmission. Baleful Edict, prepare for my arrival. Duty calls, Commander. We should open a Vox link. Inquisitorial vessel, permission granted to come aboard. Emperor, I found you. I must commandeer this vessel at once. Impossible. We are bound for Titan. The Edict cries out for repair. The tech priest speaks the truth, Inquisitor. Our last crusade bled us dry. I'm not blind, Knight. But heresy does not operate at our convenience. My destination is Koromar Prime, within this very system. Not such a taxing journey. I'd expect. And what is it that you hope to find there? This. Beneath rotting skies, the air thickens with a world's final breath. Seeds planted in flesh and bone, watered with blood and tears. A warrior alone in the garden of a grinning god. These are scraps of astropathic whimsy. There's more. It grows. It spreads. A great dispersal upon the etheric wind. The bloom proliferating. First, then Korama, then world after world. Its roots spread from an ancient veil. Inquisitor, hear me. Hear me. Hear me. Who tends? The garden. 
The Astropath sacrificed himself to send that message. Now you understand why we must investigate. Commander, we cannot risk further damage to this vessel. It is the chapter ship, Dominus. The Inquisitor has every right to request our support. It is not a request. <laughs> Commander, with your leave, we will set our course for this Koromar Prime. Yes. Good. That will do for now. Our first mission, guys. On Koromar. So we'll get 15 servitors out of it, uh, which is always what you get on the first mission, but it's nice to point it out. Um, it should be pretty straightforward. It always is. It's always the same mission. So let's get to it. Report. Signals from quarantine beacons detected in the upper atmosphere, but the surface itself is silent. Plague, Commander. Send your squad to the surface. Knights of Titan, you are the instrument of the Emperor's will. Make planet fall and discover if the Inquisitor's fears are founded. Okay, so Aldrich Iolanthus. I'm sure people remember Iolanthus from the previous campaign. Also, there was Iolanthus and Iolanthus, and we also had Iolanthus. Um, so, you know, a lot of fun. Uh, we have Derek Thule, Voldred Storm, and Aegir Han. So, a Justicar, a Purgator, an Interceptor, and an Apothecary. But this guy leveled up in the tutorial, so, you know. Uh, we're going to go with Terminator Armor, and we're going to go with Hammer Hand. Hammer Hand allows us to get um, guaranteed crits, essentially, which is very, very nice. We will be needing that. Yes, uh, confirm. Uh, so loadout and things, I guess I'll put them in the Terminator armor, but other than that, I don't think I will bother upgrading everything just yet. Uh, I want to get into the uh, the mission. We don't need to give little little tweaks or anything yet. It's it's the first mission. Commander, have your men look for signs of this plague. Be vigilant, brothers. All right, so I will run up uh, Iolanthus. Yeah, we'll give him give him a little bit of movement left. We might end up activating this pod on the first turn. Maybe not. Either way, we should be able to kill him quite comfortably in a turn. So Darig, Darig Thule, Darig, Darig Thule. He can go over there. And Voldred Storm. Yes. I love interceptors. They're really fun. They get really good um, later in the in the campaign. They get a bunch of ways of getting AP back and just all sorts of fun fun toys. It's uh, yeah, they get crazy. Okay, let's see if that activates anyone. Nope, not yet. That's fine. That's fine. So it's nice you activate an enemy pod so long as you aren't already fighting anyway, and certain missions are exempt from this, but when you activate a pod you get all your AP back, if you guys don't remember, I know it's quite a a, a quirk of this game, so I want to make sure that's clear. Uh, yeah, let's see if that activates them. No, not yet. And so this little uh, just inching forwards uh, routine is quite useful. That's probably going to get him. There we go. Okay, we have an enemy with a heavy stubber. And three standard cultists. Enemy sighted. They sure were. <laughs> so first off, what we can do, move over here with our Purgator, with his Psy Cannon. Shoot this guy, and we can do a Psychic Onslaught. You'll see the health bars. We're not going to kill him, but there's an explosive barrel right there. So that'll take him out. There we go. Two birds with one incredibly violent Psychic Stone. That's also a gun. Or something. Uh, right, now... So, if I teleport... That'll give me some extra movement. So I should have two AP 
to stab these guys with, which is going to be rather handy. I can also give him a bit of a light stabbing. Uh, and him. So I wonder if that's the way to go. I feel like maybe Han should run in here and get a grenade on them first. So we can weaken them a bit. I'll give it a go. We don't need these grenades for anything else. So let's do that. And grenades do have knockback, so hopefully we can bounce them a bit closer so they're easier to reach. I aim true. Uh, so I could actually just shoot him. Oh, I won't quite get him. And... No, 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 no. Melee. And I won't quite be able to kill him with the melee either. Oh, I can't get at him though, right? Yeah, I can. Good. And then you can kill him easily enough. I was just hoping we get two kills for Voldra so we get a bit more experience, but it doesn't look like that's gonna it's gonna happen. Although I could have stepped forward and shot him once, that would have also worked. But screw it. I like being tidy. So I did use a willpower there. Which, you know, willpower is a finite resource, but every time you get a kill, you get one willpower back. It is capped at one willpower per action. Uh, it wasn't on the launch of the game, but it is now. Well, it has been for quite some time. Um, so you can't sort of farm um, willpower with big AoE abilities. You're, you're going to cap out at one per kill. So, you know, you can still get quite a few, honestly. Because you have three AP per turn, so you can get three kills, even if they're single target. You know, if you manage to pick your targets or uh, whittle them down with your other units yeah. first or something. But yeah, the, the ability of, like, uh, 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 purgators with psi cannons just to basically go, Oh, okay, I'll use Psychic Onslaught, and then you kill a couple of guys, and you go, Oh, great, I have all my willpower back, I'll use Psychic Onslaught again. And you do that forever, because you're never using that ability when you're not killing a bunch of units. So it, it got a bit silly. Uh, so I don't know if this... Yeah, I'll wake him up. Screw it. Hey, guys. Well, he's happy to see us. Wait. That creature. Inquisitor, we have seen the dead walk in this way before. As have I. Hoxwalkers are evidence of warp corruption. This is no natural play. And uh, just to continue to remind people of the basics, if you overwatch, you shoot as many times as you have AP remaining. If they run to that cone, obviously. But it also uses ammunition, so if you have only, you know, if you have three AP but one ammo, you're still only going to shoot once. Good. I will need to examine this corpse and... Do not tolerate this contamination spreading to my servitors. Do not obstruct me, tech priest. I will follow proper protocols. A satisfactory effort. Now return with my carcass so I can set to work. We will deliver them to you as soon as containment is properly confirmed and sanctified. Be swift about it. If this plague has already spread beyond this planet, then we will have far more ground to cover. I'm actually quite impressed we killed all of them on that first turn. Usually what happens is a couple of them stop shy and then they go Rawr, which wakes up a bunch of um, uh, a bunch of other boys. Because uh, they it can raise the dead. So you probably still have a bunch of guardsmen corpses there and also the corpses of the guys that we just shot. Those could all be raised into uh, into more um, poxwalkers. It's very fun. Although I guess it depends on the poxwalker doing it. I forget which one of those has the ability. I know the big fat guy does. But yeah, I think those guys do. Yeah, because they do it in this mission. Yeah, yeah, no, they do it too. See, I'm reminding people of the basics, but I've also forgotten a lot of the basics. You know, I'm still getting my head around it. It's been months since I played, which is why, uh, yeah, veteran difficulty feels like a good one for us today. Because, yeah, a lot of this is uh, sort of burnt into my muscle memory, a lot of the tactics, which will see us through. But, you know, some of the nuance I have to, I have to try and remember. So, uh, yeah, did it. we killed all the enemies. We got some servitors out of it. And I don't think anyone leveled up, did they? No, sadly not. Shame. That's okay. So you can see we have repairs in progress. So we have to advance time. We can't go anywhere until our reactor is repaired. The Dominus has restored the star map to its full function. 
We are receiving a barrage of scanning data and astropathic scrapings from across the sector. This plague appears to have already spread its tendrils far and wide. We are faced with reports of two infected systems. We should monitor this infestation carefully and judge where best to direct our forces while the Inquisitor pursues her answers. Failure will cost many souls. Uh, ship project complete. The plasma reactor has been repaired. Commander, I've completed repairs to the plasma reactor. Our reconstruction efforts can proceed once again. They sure can. So we can talk to the Lunette. We can talk to all of our Zany cast characters. Uh, requirement fulfilled. Cool. We must activate quarantine protocols with that Pomus Walker specimen. Not have the edict put at risk, even for an inquisitor. Well, fair enough. This is no ordinary corruption. The ship will remain sterile. Uh, where, where was even... When did she even say that? Uh, agreed, Commander. That is why we have instigated seven layers of redundancies, as well as the high security protocols, and even a binarous rubric me mesh placed over the Baleful Edict's cogitator systems. The ship will remain sterile. Good. Um, so, we aren't going to go uh, fully into all the conversations. Like I said, if you guys want the full story, all the character stuff, all the speculation about all their intent and all the rest of it, you know, there was plenty of theory crafting and, and you know, silliness in the uh, blind playthrough that I originally played. So we are going to be sort of skipping over a lot of the conversation there so we can see the DLC content especially, but also just see if we can uh, rise to the challenges ahead of us. There are a bunch of new enemies that we're very excited to bump into. I bumped into a couple uh, already, and they're terrifying. They're actually really scary. Uh, so we're going to get the Servitor production online, I think. We want to make sure we can keep getting a trickle of Servitors in, just in case we don't bump into any uh, missions that will grant us a lot. Um, so yeah, we need to do that. The Orgerium is also very useful to have for the Prognosticars, but yeah, I think I think we need Servitors first. Then we'll probably do Plasma Reactor. I want to speed up our ship before we start slowing down the spread. If that makes sense. It will one day, <laughs> if, you're, you know, if you're new here. So it's going to advance time. Wait for the enemies to show up. So yeah, there's a couple, a couple of infections currently. Bloom spawn detected. Our prognostic car choir has detected the presence of three new eruptions of bloom activity across this sector. We've informed Titan and must uh, act on these new incursions to the best of our Commander, ability. Our prognosticers have detected this. I have identified this. From here, you can see some details <laughs> for this mission. Thanks, buddy. Including the resources that Titan. So a grimoire is going to speed up to our research, which is very useful to have. This gives us 15 servitors, which is really, really good. And this one, 20 servitors. I mean, that's a nuts pile of servitors. But what we might be able to do is go to this one, then this one. Uh, I mean, going straight there, that green seems to be about the same as that red. Maybe, though I think the journey from there to there is quicker than there to there. I think the distance of these lines does matter. Uh, although testing it is almost impossible because it never gives you a running... Uh, commentary on, on how distant something is. Oh, let's go from there to there. You can see half of that goes. So... I mean, that is quicker then. But, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we could reach both? I'm going to go for the Grimoire first. Under the, the slight gamble that we can reach two of these missions. You know, one thing I desperately hope they add is uh, the ability to set waypoints in this area, because I would love to be able to see if you go to one place and then another, what's the timer like. Like, I would love to be able to get that. I feel like it would be thematically uh, appropriate for, you know, some cogitators on our ship to be able to work that out. 
Um, so, you know, it would be nice. It would make planning a lot easier. And that's the thing. This game, it doesn't have uh, dice rolls for damage. It gives you perfect information about what's going to happen when you do something. I mean, there is some chance of, you know, I guess you don't know whether you're going to crit or not. But just doing damage, you get you get that just laid out perfectly for you. So it would be nice if there was that transparency on the, on the sort of campaign map as well. But, uh, you know, whatever. That's just a, a peeve of mine, I guess. So, uh, so the Orgirdium we could upgrade, but now we're going to go Plasma Reactor, I think. Yep, we can just about afford it. Hopefully, we'll get another 15. Uh, and Or, oh, actually, just the time it takes to do that, we may end up with enough servitors. Uh, what is our servitor? Okay, it doesn't tell us how many servitors we're getting. Uh, if I go to... where is it? Oh, no, we just fixed the entire thing. Gain one servitor per ten days. Okay, we need to actually get that first. We need the reactor done first. Okay. So, we're making progress anyway. It's forward progress. It'll do. Either way, we need more servitors. Uh, so, kill all enemies. Pretty straightforward. Uh, so now no I problem, will sir. equip them. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Hector. Uh, so ranged weapon, I don't think we need to upgrade for him. We're mostly going to be using melee. Uh, I am going to give him a... I'm going to give him a demon hammer straight out of the bat. Uh, so we have these two, uh, which are... They're part of, I think, Twitch Drops, another free LC they've given for a while. Destroy of Chrysalix, I think, is a pre-order bonus. And it is slightly better. Uh, it has really good upgrade uh, chances, but that extra crit chance is really nice. And if we go to the War Gear slot, we can also get the Domina Liber Daemonica, which is another pre-order bonus, which uh, I will be exploiting the crap out of, because this just allows me to get way more crits. And crits are great. They're very exciting. Um, I mean, some of this, most of this stuff will be completely obsolete by the time you get to the end of the campaign, so I don't really, I don't really care. If it speeds up the boring bit at the start, then I am all for it. Uh, and then for you, let's give you a better side cannon. Uh, let's go for the one that gives extra crit chance. For now, that let us, actually it won't really let us target particular body parts, will it? And now that's only melee, in which case the extra crit probably doesn't matter. Uh, not until he can put up his crit chance generally. Give him the crit damage. Um, that other item, the uh, Domina Liber Demonica, that doesn't actually help in ranged. That's only something that helps for um, uh, melee. So, Interceptor, let's give you a better force sword. Again, we're going to go with the crit chance. Uh, and then we're going to give you the Domina Liber Demonica. Oh, there's also this, which gives extra willpower, which is fine. It's not bad, but generally grenades offer more utility than being able to use, like, another Psychic Onslaught if you haven't managed your willpower well enough, right? It's just, generally, I find the extra two willpower doesn't help a huge amount. Although it's probably quite good for the Apothecary, generally, because it can do more healing, but I don't intend on getting hit. I intend on killing everything long before they're able to, um, you know, to get a swing in. Oh, we can also upgrade uh, his melee weapon. He has a better Narthesium as well. Uh, again, we're going to go crit chance. All about the crit chance. And I guess that'll do it. Now well, let's give him a better gun as well. Uh, you can get crit damage on you for no particular reason. And you can get the crit uh, chance. Hang on. There we go. Now I'm satisfied. Let's go. The psychic disturbances here echo those I encountered on Koromar. The hive cities are abandoned, but there is life below. Brothers, seek out any corruption and purge it. Ah, it's this map. This is often what we uh, encounter early. Probably just run straight to the end, actually. <laughs> Don't make me regret that. It should be around the corner. There we go. Spawn points tend to be in the same place uh, all the time in this game. You know, out of sort of set um, possible points for them, anyway. 
So, you know, each map seems to have um, a certain number of sort of nodes where an enemy pod can, can spawn. I am here to serve. Okay. Uh, that will let you see past. Uh, I can have Iolanthus lead the way, I think. Seeking the tainted. Yes, Commander. It will be done. Ah, damn. I thought that might do it. Knights of the Throne! It's worth trying to inch him forwards. But it's not the end of the world. Okay, bye. I do find it funny that even the little... Overwatch. Little pathetic cultist can kick Holy through a door shit. like a space marine can. But, like, genuinely, I find it really funny. Um... So, we have the ability to teleport, which is nice. We can shoot these statues down. Uh, that uh, brazier we can kick down to set these guys on fire. Uh, we can throw grenades at everybody, which is always nice. I mean, if we throw a grenade, like, over here, we could punt him over this way, him out of cover, destroy the cover. We'd also destroy this cover that we might be using, kick the brazier down and hit the people. Well, one of the guys that landed here from the grenade. That might be a good combo. Um... Iolanthus, of course, has the Terminator armor. If you're in uh, light cover, it reduces damage by one. Full cover reduces it completely, unless you're, uh, uh, like, a, uh, if it's 45 degrees off, then it only reduces it by one, I think. And then on, you know, if you're flanked, then you're flanked. Um, God, I don't know. I don't know. Do I just want to get him into full cover and start smashing things? Uh, well, I can't smash anything if I put him in full cover. That'll be all about movement. All right, what we're going to do... Can you hit anyone from here? No, he can't. Okay, he's going to have to inch forward, so that's one AP. Shame, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and then we can use Psychic Onslaught on these two. We won't get any kills, though, which is a bit of a shame. But we won't be in range if we try and... Sh you know, we can't get these guys, basically. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna risk it for a biscuit. All right, we're going to whittle him down a bit. You must. Uh, now, if we move... We'll be able to kill him. Ooh, it's a tough one, you know. Alright, Iolanthus, we're just going to move out somewhere where he can be um, sort of vulnerable, but don't worry about it. And that will get a kill. And the other two will be set on fire. Wait, what that? Oh my god, did I just slightly misclick? Oh, that's really quite annoying. Alright, fine. Let's just finish these two off, shall we? Because I do need to reload, but I can do that later. Um, Alright, I can hit three of them. This will get him a willpower back. Okay. Uh, so that guy will die to the flames. Uh, he's taking how much damage? Two per turn. I mean, he still has... Uh, He's up seven health. God, that's a lot of health. All right, I can get back here with him, which will give him pretty good cover. Yeah, all right, let's do it. So what I'm guessing is that this guy, oh, he'll be dead. So uh, yeah, he probably won't do anything. I'm also going to hit this, I think. If I do that, I'm not sure I want to. So let's try and aim. Otherwise, that might collapse, destroy the wall, and then, you know, we'll be vulnerable to another pod seeing us. If I could target it with one statue, so the other statue leans this way and hits that guy, I would definitely have done it. But that's not the case, so uh, I won't risk it. So I could go here, but then this guy could flank quite easily. So I think what we're going to do is play it fairly safe and just run to the edge here. Though I would like to have AP remaining if I'm going to do that. If I move there, I doubt he'll move right around. So moving here. Yes, sir. And also the range will help me a lot. So there is a damage drop off with longer ranges. So using the Aegis gives me two armor. We're going to be pinned, which is one less AP. That's fine. Yeah, he's all on fire and... Suppressive fire. Okay, good. So suppressive fire is actually terrifying. If there's, like, a ludicrous number 
of cultists, they can completely annihilate you by doing these kind of antics. Uh, oh. Damn, he did one damage. Well, he did three, but you know. That's a shame. But one one injury should should be a problem. But yeah, suppressing fire. Um, it does a huge amount of damage, as you can see. Like, if we try and move, that's how much damage you're going to take from it. And it's it's if you act as well. So it's really dangerous. So you need to you just stop them, basically. But if they have a whole gaggle of cultists, all with Overwatch, uh, in different places, it can be so difficult to actually get the chance to take any actions without just immediately dying. Because it's not like burning, it takes place after the action. No, before you take the action, they all fire and murder you to bits. It's, um, it's horrendous. So, he's a grenadier, so we don't actually have to worry about him doing any damage, ever. Oh, it's my purgator. <laughs> silly. Wait, oh, you guys got pinned. Of course he did. Oh, that's so silly. Okay, I can teleport over there and get him, so I think I will. Yeah, purgators don't have a melee weapon, but they can still uh, shoulder barge people, which does one damage, and knock back. So you can just sort of kick people off a ledge or something, which is very satisfying. Uh, so this will, uh, yeah, this is sort of whatever, who cares? Grenadiers can't actually do any damage on the turn, on their turn, because all of their grenades either just pin you, or they, uh, 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 like, take a, a, a turn to detonate. So it's just easy. You don't have to worry about it. I mean, they can really muck things up for you if uh, if there are other cultists running around. Lowering your AP or forcing you to move is very scary. Especially if you're suppressed and you have a time bomb under you. It's, um, you know, you have to decide where you take the damage from. It's pretty, pretty horrid. Okay, let's move. Yeah. All right, moving on. And, oh, and he's already moved. So yeah, you, you just sit tight. As so you notice, the little bar at the top is filling up. Um, every time we do any psychic ability, which is anything that costs willpower, basically, this will go up a little bit. It also goes up every turn, depending on how corrupt uh, the place we are is. And when it gets to 100%, it rolls a dice and gives you a random like modifier. It might be the, I don't know, the enemy reinforcements come, which is, you know, pretty, pretty standard. But it could be that everyone loses a will, like one max willpower or one max health, or enemy, like random enemies are granted a bunch of armor, like all sorts of things. Um, so it's quite cool. I think it's an interesting, um, interesting way to sort of uh, encourage you to hurry up. You can't just turtle in Overwatches forever behind full cover and just wait for the enemy to slowly walk at you. Um, you're, you're actually sort of encouraged to to get a move on. Yeah, I think that guy should have moved up this way a bit. It's fine. As you should. Oh, I haven't spotted him yet. No, they are moving this way. They are moving this way, so they will spot us in a minute. Uh, maybe Han should get over here too, just so we're a little closer. I think these might block line of sight, but I'm not sure. This might uncover them. Oh, no, not yet. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. I wouldn't I wouldn't take anybody else. You're my boy, Iolanthus. My favourite special boy. We bring a message of doom! Okay, well, what's the message? Here's a good spot! Is that the Doom message? They will not see me here. Okay. Uh, so. What's the plan? If I go there, I can start whittling them down. So, you might think, uh, so here, it does give you a damage preview. Where you are. I'll only do one damage from here. But, there's also this meter. That says five. This is their stun meter. If you hit them five times, they're stunned. Uh, the chances of actually hitting them five times before killing them is pretty much impossible on this difficulty setting. Um, but we, we had a lot of fun getting just chains of stunning. Because if you stun someone, and you melee them, you execute them, and everyone on your team gets an AP back, which means you can do more actions, like executing another guy, and you can just chain them all together until you have people with like six or seven AP. Um, you know, you can just sort of like, just take down a boss in a single 
turn just stabbing them 800 times. It's it's so fun. It really is great. I guess hit this. No, that's not. Okay, that's surprising. I am surprised. Um, I mean, we can shoot that down, obviously, to hit someone, but I think we want to wait for them to get a little closer. Do we need to fall back to try and get that to happen? We may have to. So let's do that. Okay. Let's uh, get you to do that as well. Got the Aegis for the armor. We can negate a couple damage, and of course the cover will also negate some uh, some damage as well. Put you behind basically full cover, but probably not at that angle, but that's fine. Uh... I mean, the, that's gonna, the meter's gonna fill up anyway this turn, so I may as well take advantage of it. Because I'm pretty sure it doesn't overflow. Though that's something I never tend to pay attention to, so maybe, maybe that's a terrible, uh, terrible assessment. All right, so we'll just do that. So if you're in half cover, you can shoot over it in Overwatch. If you're in full cover, you actually step out, which means you're no longer in cover. So something you really gotta uh, pay attention to. I know it caught me out quite a lot when I first started playing this game. Being like, oh, but I'm, oh, but I'm in cover, why am I taking damage? And yeah, because I was overwatching. Depends on the angle, mind you. Yeah, you can sort of overwatch um, at an angle, so if they come around the corner in order to flank you, then you are doing damage. Like, you can, you can arrange it that way. <laughs> that felt a bit delayed. Yeah, fine. You were chosen. <laughs> you were the chosen one. Oh, he'll do a damage. Got a couple. Yeah, it's still minus one because it's uh, you know, sort of uh, shallow angle high cover, I guess. It is a warp surge, Inquisitor. Such events are common in pitch battles between sides. And yet your brothers have clearly restrained their powers. Something foul is at work below. As they go, that guy just got two extra HP. Which isn't a big problem. There we go. That's what I wanted to set up. Can't reach that guy. Which is a shame, because if we could hit him, he'd pull off. Uh, you've got a grenade, though. He doesn't. So that's that's the only guy with a grenade. So actually moving here. I don't know, what's the range of the grenades? Let's have a look. Oh, okay, I don't need to move much. So actually, I think if I do move here, I can reach him with a grenade and then shoot that. I'll be able to get a couple of kills. It means that Voldred is sort of doing nothing. But... Oh my god, you have to do that with melee. Oh, you can't shoot it. Silly me. It's alright. So this guy has two extra HP. Doesn't matter if he falls into a pit. See? <laughs> Justice! <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Uh, so we can't just move out the way. None of these guys are actually uh, a problem at all. So, again... Yeah, let's just move here. Uh, unfortunately, I have no ammo. And we did just move, so I only have one AP for overwatching, but I think that's fine. I can, I can, I'll, yeah, it's fine. I'll leave him for now, actually. Now, our Purgator will have one movement left if I do this. I am here to serve. And, okay, Storm could, could knock it over. It's a good way to get Storm up the field, I suppose. Bonk. Down. There goes another. Uh, see, now I'm thinking we could have probably... Actually, I don't think we can take that guy out at all. I was thinking now we go to the Overwatch, Storm could just run in and start blatting people, but no, probably not, actually. Standing ready. My blade is yours. Sure is. So, I can hit this guy. Which so, drive? Psychic Onslaught. Uh does ignore cover. For 
And now this guy will probably run up and, and get overwatched by him. So yeah, I think we will probably overwatch. Uh, he can reach... He can reach cover. Over there. Or I could just go back into full cover over here. Uh, again, not very aggressive of me, but I'd rather not take up any injuries in a in like an early level. Uh, we're really under no threat. There's no rush. There's no time limits. It's just kind of um, just all dandy, really. Oh, hang on. This cover's going to get blown up, isn't it? Oh, damn. Okay, in that case, let's just get you behind cover that isn't going to explode. And we don't need Overwatch. We can just run in and kill them both this turn anyway. Yeah, see, look, there goes the cover. Oh. Well, that's surprising. They keep surprising me by how far they can run. I don't know why. Yeah, Iolanthus, taking some damage. Silly. Alright, look, let's, uh... So this makes absolutely no difference, by the way. Uh, to whether or not you will have an injury. But, just for, you know, my own pride, I suppose. I'm gonna heal him up. So we used Hammer Hand, so we get a guaranteed crit, which means it's a guaranteed kill. There we go. Good work, Commander. So, uh, for healing, I think it's rather important to say, uh, if you have taken a bunch of damage, then you'll be injured when you return to base, and it'll take time to heal before you can go on missions again. But, uh, well, if you're heavily injured, if you're lightly injured, you can send them anyway. They just have less health, to, you know, less max health, which is fine. Uh, but if they've taken damage and you heal them in combat, that won't heal them. It won't heal them, heal them, right? It always takes into account how low your health had gotten, which does mean that I'm pretty sure if you take a couple of damage, and then you heal, and then you take a couple of damage, and then you heal, then you take a couple of damage, it still only counts that you've taken a couple of damage, because that's how low your health had gotten, right, during that fight. So you can just sort of patch yourself up and up and up, um, as long as you stay on top of that. But it's, as long as you take a bunch of damage, you, you'll, yeah, you'll be injured, basically. Okay, so grimoires that will speed up our research and some level ups. And okay, Iolanthus didn't take up any injuries, he didn't get hurt enough. Good. So let's level up our Purgator. I think we're just going to go this way so we can get more ammunition. Return fire is really nice. Uh, support fire is really nice. Uh, oh, this will silence us stuff, isn't it? Okay. Now we want to go down here for the upgraded psychic onslaughts. Uh, either way, we want more ammunition. Return fire is nice. So yeah, we'll, we'll get all this stuff next. Rapid reload's really good. Just automatic, like, 50% chance to reload when you run out of ammo. So good. So good. Because we do get through a lot of ammo. Every time you use Psychic Onslaught, your ammo depletes entirely. So, um, you know, happens a lot. But yeah, extra area and extra damage. It's, it's, it's good stuff. So yeah, Dalek Thul, we are going to keep with the Psych Cannon. Silences aren't really good though, but no, we'll stay with the side cannon for now. Really good for getting uh, enemies out of cover when we can't necessarily chain together a bunch of like crazy combos just yet um, with the rest of our guys. You know, we can't be entirely aggressive until we have like teleport strike and you know, uh, if you, you know, abilities where if you get a crit, you get an AP back and all this kind of stuff. Um, so, you know. Speaking of Teleport Strike, we got Teleport Strike, <laughs> so this is really good. Uh, this lets you hit a bunch of targets at once. It doesn't do a huge amount of damage uh, until we can upgrade it. Uh, how do we get Warp Surge on this? There we go. We need to get Warp Charge for an extra couple of damage, which is really, really nice. Really, really good, useful ability to just wipe out an entire gaggle of like cheap stuff and then reposition near or something that you want to you want to fight with your remaining AP. Especially if you have this 50% chance when you teleport to gain AP back. So you can literally teleport strike, killing a bunch of poxwalkers, land next to a plague marine, get your AP back, and then attack them three times. It's very good. Very good indeed. Okay. So, that's that. Now, 
<gasps> we can reach the other one. Thank Christ. Or, you know, I was going to say Sigma. The Emperor. Thank the Emperor. Except the Space Marines don't really revere him as a god. Um, they just revere him as their space dad. So it's, yeah, it's... A... Thank somebody. All right, come on, you. And we have made it. All right, here we are. Kill all enemies for 15 servitors. Uh, the fact that we managed to get two missions out of this is really nice. It'll help, like, crank up our resources a bit. Um, before the days start ticking along. So this is really nice. This is why we want to upgrade our ship's engines um, as, a, as a priority. Because I really want to be able to get, you know, a couple of missions sort of at a time every time we encounter missions. Um, so we can really maximise that effectiveness. But of course, the downside of that is that is more chances to pick up injuries. And if you're injured, then you can't be going on missions and things. It's, you know, it ups the risk, uh, but it also ups the reward. And that's more important. Because we did that last mission without a single injury. So we may as well go all in, right? Okay. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, everyone's kitted out, actually. Everyone's totally kitted out. So we do have other knights, by the way. We have Kadon Rugen and Mithrak Bors as well. Which will be handy if anyone gets injured. But no one's gotten injured yet. So I'll just leave them there. It's fine. We'll probably pick up higher level ones. And we can just sack them if they get too far behind, frankly. It's not really a... Not really a priority. You'll even get some requisition out of it, which is something that has no meaning yet, but it will. So don't worry about it. In fact, this might be an interesting, um, an interesting hack actually. If we did, if we did get rid of a couple of these, we'd get another upgrade in the early, um, in the first um, instance where we can spend it basically. But uh, we'll we'll leave them uh, just in case. So guys, we're going to end the episode here because I'm pretty sure we had a flash forward and we had another mission crammed into this episode. So it's probably gone on quite a lot longer um, than the the 48 minutes that it's saying that it has. So um, yeah, we're going to end it here. It's going to be a really fun campaign. Uh, I personally can't wait to, to get into all of the DLC content. I think it's been really fun. But it's really good just playing it again. And I hope you guys uh, are enjoying it. It's a really good romp. I, I absolutely adore it. If you do if you do want to pick up the game, by the way, uh, I do have a store that you can visit in the comments section, uh, nexus.gg slash Janet, where you can pick up a copy of the game uh, and I'll get a, a kickback out of it. So it's a way to fund the channel without actually having to spend any additional money, which is pretty handy. You know, pretty good. And the DLC should be available there too. So, um, yeah, go check it out. It really helps the channel out a lot. And, uh, and I love you all. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, guys.